So since I've been chumming here, and I'm dropping the bass, so I can look, see, see how they're going down, you guys? Look, see if they know. Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Yeah! They're here. They're here. Look at this. Look how fast he just went past us. Oh, he's still in. He's got one. He's got two. <laughs> All right, under. Oh, he's still got both. I thought I figured it out. Didn't figure it out. Look how fast he got on me. Yeah, that's what happens. Look at that. Oh, there he is. There he is. You guys look at him. Folks at home, these are a blast. And abs. Look, he jumped. <laughs> You know, great whites and nickels are the only ones that jump. We got some inshore species that like to go crazy on you. Look at him. Wow. Wow. He's 750 pounds. Well, actually, he's the miniature version, but, you know, he's still shot. He could get that big, maybe. Beautiful fish. All right, let's grab We're gonna do a quick release because I think I've got them biting right behind us and this should be mighty quick, so watch this. They always seem to jump, but right if I grab them here, and I do always kind of feel like they're gonna get my finger. He didn't, but he cut my finger. All right, here we go, you guys. Thread fin, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cut its tail off. There we go, tail's off. I got fresh blood there. I got blood on my fingers. I'm wiping it all on my fishing line. And this right here is where I've been chumming. So, at least I believe it's going to be quick. Wait, here goes this one. Here goes this one. Ah, dude. All right, we missed that one. This one here probably, if not right now, if not before I get this rigged, by the time I get it rigged, I bet one eats on that one. Here we go. Once again, thread fin. We switch up from the lady fish. We're going with thread fin right now. Cut it in half. Boom. Lose this little blood trail. See how the blood comes out of it? Awesome. They like that. Sharks smell blood. In case you guys are wondering about the olfactory senses of the different fish, from what I know, from what I've heard, a shark's number one. They can smell the most parts per million, you know, uh, the smallest parts of blood per million. Then after a shark comes your favorite, meow, meow, the catfish. And then after the catfish comes the redfish. So between those three species of fish, shark smells the, boat, the best, the uh, catfish is second, and then the uh, redfish finally. So that's one of the reasons why it's real good to dead bait for the redfish and sharks, especially. Uh, you know, I hate to say it, unfortunately, the catfish is a uh, is something you don't necessarily want to catch when you're dead bait. But you know, catching fish is catching fish. It's better than not catching fish. All right, this is one I just tangled. And they're messing with me right now because I was for sure we'd already have one there, especially since that one just came up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another bait. Now this part, what we've noticed is once it starts slowing down and uh, we don't get a bite like as fast as I think it should be, which, you know, I kind of like a bite every, every time I drop a bait down. So if I'm dropping a bait down and I don't get a bite in the first minute or two, a lot of times I think, well, maybe I haven't chummed well enough or maybe I need to chum a little bit more. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe that, you know, I haven't chummed enough or maybe I need to chum a little bit more or I haven't chummed recently and that keeps them from, my, uh, you know, they're not smelling it. So they're not staying by and they're not eating. Even if they're not hungry, a lot of times I feel with sharks, if they can smell it, they're going to try to eat it. And uh, so that's what we're doing. We're dropping them down. And I've got all kind of little, if you look down in this chum, see these little fish that are coming up? It looks like skipjacks or something that are eating the bait, the, the scales and stuff that I'm putting down there. So if the skipjacks are coming, that means they're smelling it. And if they're smelling it, you know, other fish are smelling it. And hopefully it brings every, everybody up to us, you know, it makes, a, makes for a good bite. <laughs> 